You're listening to I Love This TV Show, The Golden Girls. Hi, and welcome to the I Love This TV Show podcast. I'm your host, Noelle from Pastasworld.com. Each season of this podcast will contain a TV show in full. This means the length of the season depends on the length of the TV show. The first season is, of course, The Golden Girls. The Golden Girls, Season 2, Episode 13, The Stan Who Came to Dinner. The doorbell rings as Sophia comes out of the kitchen, but she doesn't answer it. She sits on the couch instead. Dorothy, Blanche, and Rose all communicate in turn that they can't answer the door because they're getting ready. Rose asks Sophia to answer it. Rose, Sophia, would you mind? Sophia. Sure, why not? I'm over 80. I've had plenty of chances to rest in my lifetime. After some complaint, she goes to the door and answers it. It's Blanche and Dorothy's dates. They are twins, Rob and Bob. Blanche comes out, and then Dorothy joins them as well. She makes a bad joke, though. The doorbell rings again, and it's Stan. Blanche. Oh, Stan is her ex-husband. Biggest loser you'll ever see. Evening, Stan. Dorothy tells him they have to talk some other time because she has plans. She asks him to call in advance next time. He tells her he has the has papers that they need to go over before his surgery. And Sophia chides him about finally getting a hair transplant. Sophia, finally going ahead with that hair transplant? Stan, Sophia, not everyone knows this isn't real. Dorothy, oh please, Stevie Wonder could tell it's a rug. Stan ignores her, but even Dorothy points out it's obviously fake hair on his head. He tells her he wishes it was only a hair transplant, and he'll wait till they get back. She's going to apply. She asks him if it's life and death, and he tells her it is. So Dorothy asks Rose to fill in for her. She says no because she's going to be driving the bookmobile that evening. Blanche sends the guests away to try and convince Dorothy to go. She doesn't really want to call someone else. She just wants the twins to herself to fulfill her fantasy. Dorothy makes Stan go to the kitchen with her. Blanche tells Sophia about a recurring dream she had. Blanche, you know, Sophia, I used to have this recurring dream about twins. They always killed each other over me. Maybe I'll drive. Sophia tells Blanche she has a recurring dream, too, but doesn't understand what it means. Blanche exits. In the kitchen, Dorothy wants Stan to tell her what's going on. He's got to have heart surgery, and he's a bit worried because it's bypass surgery, and it's scheduled for Friday. Sophia is not concerned, and this upsets Stan. She wants him to go pick up some food. She wants to know why, or rather who, is going to be taking care of him for his recovery period, and then insists that he will recover there at the house. Sophia, you come here to recover. Dorothy, not that nice, Ma. Sophia, Dorothy, he's still family. It's your fault he's family, but let's not dwell on that right now. The yuts could die. Stan really starts to worry now. Dorothy agrees to give him her room while he recovers. Sophia again asks him to go get some food. It's now the night before surgery. Rose and Blanche wish him good luck but don't do a good job of it. Rose, we just wanted to stop by and wish you luck in case we don't see you again. But before you leave for the hospital, not, not another world. Blanche, let's not bother him anymore. Let's stay and rest in peace. They both try to apologize as they leave. Stan thanks Dorothy again. He's worried something will go wrong. He tells her he loves her. He apologizes for leaving her. He then confesses to an affair. She forgives him, for the most part. He then tells her about another affair. She shocked. She thought it would have been with his secretary. He had an affair with her, too. Dorothy is more shocked that she could take shorthand, though. He asks again for forgiveness, and she swings his bag into him. Now she feels better, too. It's now the day of the surgery. Sophia and Blanche... Sorry, Sophia ran into one of her friends in the hospital, and Dorothy is still in shock. 
She thought the next time she'd be at the hospital would be for something for Sophia. Dorothy, I thought the next time I went through this, it'd be for Mom. Sophia, as long as I'm here, maybe I can fall and break my hips so you won't have to come back? Dorothy says if anything happened to Stan, she'd feel like his widow. Blanche tells her a story about when she first felt like a widow. She went out with a friend, and one of the guys that hit on her noticed her wedding ring. The friend she was with told them she was a widow. Rose then goes off on a tangent of her own. The doctor comes out and tells Dorothy Stan is going to be fine. He then tells her that it's going to take three months to recover. Everyone is upset. Two months later, Stan and Sophia are watching in the living room. They're watching a basketball game. He tries to be more charming and she tells him he's boring. She asks him whether he's hoping to go out. He laughs. She says, Sophia says, when are you moving out? Stan, ha ha ha, you kill me. Sophia, I'd love to. She then gets up and leaves. Blanche and her date return. Her date bought a brand new bread convertible. Stan decides to talk to him, but it turns out he's confused the two brothers, and he causes Rob to leave because he thought it was Bob. Blanche wants to kill Stan. So does Rose. He broke a family heirloom. It's a ceremonial wedding plate. Rose refuses to forgive him for it. There's another wedding coming up in the family. And now what are they going to use for their plate? Blanche suggests a gravy boat. Rose goes through the idea in the kitchen and like surprises Sophia by uh, coming out and saying that uh, she should try a gravy boat. Dorothy comes back. She got Stan some strawberry quick. There are three talk in the kitchen. Rose points out sometimes people need help making decisions. And she tells the St. Olaf story. Rose, the point is you're letting Stan get too comfortable here. He may never want to leave. Blanche wholly agrees with her. Dorothy defends Stan by telling the girls he's just recovering, that he's not comfortable. But he chooses that precise moment to walk into the kitchen in Dorothy's robe and complains that no one picked up his dry cleaning. He then takes Dorothy's cheesecake. It's another day, and Stan is cleared to go back to his own apartment by the doctor. He suddenly has a relapse. Blanche is not happy about it at all, and Rose is not happy about him either. She tells them that in her village, men would get left out in the snow to die if they were unpleasant and not pulling their own weight. Dorothy comes into the room and tries to comfort Stan. She exits and closes the door. He gets out of bed, turns on the TV to watch basketball, and then does some basketball moves. Dorothy catches him in the act and asks him why he faked his relapse. He admits he likes being there with her and is scared. She points out that she is that he is spewing crap. She tells him life is not easy. Dorothy, I'm not throwing you out. I'm pushing you out of the nest. You can't run over here every time you have a problem. I'm not your mother. I'm not even your wife anymore. Stanley, it's time that you grew up. Happy birthday, Peter Pan. She exits and he sits on the bed, looking sad. I'll be right back after a short break. Favorite quotes. Twins. We're here to see Blanche. Sophia. She must be back on the vitamins. Sophia. Hey, how would you like me to fix your face so you don't look like twins anymore? Twin. Blanche, I told you we were exactly alike. Blanche, you're going to be thanking me for years to come. Blanche. Oh, Stan is her ex-husband. Biggest loser you'll ever see. Dorothy. I said pull yourself together, not talk like Sammy Davis Jr. Sophia. Dorothy, he's family. It's your fault the Yutz is family, but you do for family. Stan. 
I love you, Dorothy. I know that sounds crazy from a guy who walked out on you after 38 years. Stan. Dorothy, I need to know you forgive me before I let them cut me open tomorrow. Dorothy. They may have to stand in line. Sophia. I told you you could come out of your room. I didn't say you could talk to me. Stan. You kill me. Sophia. I'd love to. Dorothy. Stanley, how could you fake a relapse? This episode focuses a lot on Stan and Dorothy and their relationship, but also features a bit of Stan's inability to grow up to be a man. Dorothy's Peter Pan reference at the end is really spot on. And, yeah, Stan just kind of turns into a mooch. Yeah, he needs to have bypass surgery for his heart. But it's it's a consequence of his choices. And he maybe just doesn't want to admit or understand that that's why and what's going on. But, yeah, he doesn't eat right. He doesn't exercise. Those are both very important in order to have a healthy, happy heart. And he just seems beyond disinterested. I doubt his mother got him fast food every day. And I assume when he first married Dorothy and left his family's house that uh, he tried other foods. Maybe he just got hooked on fast food at that point. You know, they never discussed that. But him sabotaging her date, Blanche's date, by calling him the wrong guy and then having him leave, that was just really not cool. Sam really needs to mind his own business. He's already abused Dorothy for 38 plus years. He doesn't need to continue causing harm to others as well. Thanks for tuning in to the I Love This TV Show podcast. If you would like to make a donation in support of this podcast, you can through Cash App to Pasta26MC. That's pasta, like the food, the number two, the number six, M as in monkey, C as in cat. If you would like to sponsor this podcast or advertise on it, please send an email to t2podcast at pastasworld.com. As always, you can go to pastasworld.com for more information.